Now for the latest on COVID-19, 679 people are hospitalized with the virus in the Finger Lakes region. That's up 148 compared to last Monday. Of those patients, 110 are in the ICU, which is down seven from the week prior. This comes alongside eight new COVID-related deaths in Monroe County, which occurred between the 20th of last month and the first of this month. 955 new lab-confirmed cases have been reported in the county today, alongside 200 19 new positive home tests, but often Monday's numbers lag behind a bit because of a weekend backlog. Experts told us to expect a post-holiday surge now that we're experiencing it and hospitals are struggling to handle the patient load. The big question out there is when will this wave break and the numbers start to drop? Jack Watson has this story for us. Hopefully here it will be relatively brief. Um, four to six weeks perhaps four to six weeks from late december that's the hope for the time frame on this ongoing surge in covid 19 says dr ed walsh of rochester regional health and that widespread immunity carries us past this high volume the hope would be that yeah it'll it'll settle down and why does it settle down it settles down because the population becomes relatively immune not fully immune but relatively until then, the region faces issues on several fronts. Hospitals are treating hundreds of patients across the region, and testing is scattered across several localized sites, some finding it easier to get an appointment than others. On the note of testing, today we are learning the campuses at SUNY Brockport and Geneseo will serve as testing sites. Brockport opens Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Geneseo opens tomorrow at the same time. Appointments are now open for both of those. As we face this surge, the hope is that cases and hospitalizations begin to tumble in the next few weeks. Because of how contagious Omicron is, the hope is that we gain immunity to fend off any future variants. The relative immunity within the population in, in, in the country, and certainly in Rochester, uh, will be very high by the time this variant starts to, to tail off. Jack Watson reporting for us there.